this is CZ Survivor and today I'm going to teach you how to change the world generation type for vanilla and modified Minecraft. Right, first of all you will want to download MBT Explorer and MC Edit. MC Edit will be for later in the tutorial to make it a bit better but they will be down in the description below. Next step will be to create a backup of your world in case you do this wrong because you want to, be to fall back to. So you'll want to go to wherever your game is saved. So if you're using a mod launcher like I do, it saves it in a separate directory. But if you're using vanilla Minecraft, it'll be percent app data dot Minecraft and then saves. So I'll do it now. Directory saves and there it is named it appropriately for this video so it'd be easy to find then go to somewhere where you want to save it for example here and that I don't know what that's doing the paste get rid of it from there because it'll annoy me and now you have a backup now that you have that backup you'll want to open your original one in MBT Explorer so you'll open the RAR file or the zip, MBT Explorer, run, and there it comes up. Now we'll automatically go to your percent updated dot Minecraft folder saves. But for me or anyone else who is using the mod launcher, you'll want to go to wherever you saved it. So here I am doing that now. Um no directory. Saves, bounds are plenty. Okay, then you want to go down to level dot dat data, and then find level the generator name, and change that to your generation type you want. Now your best option is to go check on the internet for what they are, but. I know for Biomes of Plenty it is this, and then you want to click OK, save, and now you have it set to Biomes of Plenty. Now that's done, you'll want to open up your world and pick the corresponding world that you've just changed. For example, mine, Biomes of Plenty, as I logically named it for this video. And then, if you fly out or walk out a bit, you will notice, after so long, you'll hit... No, it's not good going out into water, it doesn't work very well. Sorry about that, maybe this way. You will hit this like kind of chunk glitchy looking thing and now I'll show you where the new biomes are generating now that mm, no um, here it is these sheer cliff faces before you go into a new biome for example the glacier and as you can see they are sheer cliff faces now if you have used a world that you've explored a lot your nearest new biome generation may be thousands of blocks away and you may want to be a bit closer to your base and that is what I'll show you in the next part of the tutorial but if that is all you want to do thanks for watching go check out my other videos subscribe and like so now I'm going to show you how to delete chunks so you can bring the new biome generation closer to your area now if in vanilla minecraft you're good to go you don't need to do any of this but if you are in modded well no if you are using a modified launcher you'll have to do this a mod launcher i should say like the feed the beast launcher or the tech kit or any others i, I don't know anymore now you'll want to go to your 
directory for your mods and go find your save and copy it just make sure I've copied that and take that to your dot minecraft saves I have a quick link there but you just type in percent app data percent then click dot minecraft it'll take you to here dot minecraft saves and then paste it in there now that's done you can open up MC edit as I'm doing now and that will allow you to edit your world in MC edit Gonna have to give it a second because it always takes forever to open MC Edit. Bring it to full screen. Okay, whatever. Right, we want to load our world, pick the corresponding world. Now, as you can see, you can see, well, all the loaded chunks. Now, let's say we wanted to bring it right to the. Just delete the whole world. If you want to do it specifically, you're going to have to do it in a specific way. So let's make sure we've ch kicked, checked it all. Um, we're going to want to go to select chunks. Then we want to go to chunk control, delete. And this will prompt you, are you sure you want to do it? Click yes. It'll wipe your chunks. And you can see we have a blank world. Now what I advise you to do, save it. This will take a while. Well, or maybe not. Depends how big of the node you've deleted and changed. And now you're good to go. Next step will be to go get that save oops I click something else then saves copy it and then go back to your feed the beast directory or other mods directory if you're using mod minecraft otherwise you're already good to go and you don't have to listen to this bit either so let's just quickly do this I'm going to delete this one because it's not needed paste this one in and now we can go and check that it all works now our last oh, last whoa I sounded very very posh British there sorry now last bit to do is go and check that it's deleted those chunks now as we deleted the whole thing it's going to take a bit longer than normal to reload all the chunks because it's got to regenerate every single chunk so let's wait so here it comes and as you can see it's clearly different by the minimap in the top right obviously because there was not a village there before and here's world generation definitely wasn't those conifer things there and here is your proof and there's some bushes Ooh. So yeah, this is what I did to my modded Minecraft world, as anyone who's been following would have seen, where I deleted some pre-existing chunks so I could get biomes of plenty in. So yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed, stay well, and subscribe are out.